I'm talking today to Susan Nagoya of M Farm. Susan, when did M Farm start and why did you start it? So M Farm started in October 2010 and this was through a competition, a Tech 48 hour competition and we merged being the winners of the competition. And uh, why we got into M Farm is because we've there are lots of problems with small scale farmers in Africa and this was documented in journals, newspapers, local newspapers and there were three main categories that these farmers are going through. So one is they didn't have access to information about the market. Second was they didn't have access to viable markets so that they could make good value for their products. And third, they, were, they had no access to farm inputs. So this made the farm inputs expensive them to get. So how many farmers are using the system and where are they? So currently we have over 8,000 farmers using the system actively and they are around the central region of Kenya and the western region of Kenya. So what sort of farmers are they? So these are small scale farmers who have at least between 0 to 10 acres of land. And they're growing what kinds of crops? So they grow vegetables, uh, legumes, fruits and some also do poultry. Okay, and what are you offering them? What's the, what's the service do? So what we offer them is access to real-time information of wholesale market prices for these horticultural products that they're growing. And also we link them to the market. So you're linking them to buyers? Yes, we link them to buyers who give them good value for their products. And what scale are the buyers buying at? So currently the buyers we have have at least given us orders of a ton and above. And how do you get a, a ton of produce out of small farmers who may be growing much less than that? So we believe in power of all right. people yeah. aggregating themselves. So these small scale farmers aggregate themselves. We, we have an agent who assists them in aggregating these products. So we know that these farmers can only produce at least a tenth of what the orders we, uh, we are looking for. So if they come together with the work of an agent checking on the quality, then we can reach the order and the quality that the buyer requires. And how do you collect the information that you give to the farmers? So we have a team of staff in the markets. We currently collect markets in five markets prices in five markets so uh, they collect daily information of this wholesale market price for different horticultural products and if i'm a farmer what am i paying for this service and how you only pay a, a, a service charge which is a shilling which is like the normal ordinary service charge for sms and when you are farmer trades we get a service trans when they trade successfully when the buyer trans uh, transact successfully they actually give us a, a service charge for that successful transaction. So how, how often are the 8,000 8, farmers using the service? So it depends on the season, seasonality of these products. So if there is actually high production of these products, they trade at least twice a week. And if there is low production of this product, we usually have at least once a week or once every two weeks. And what kind of phones do the farmers have? 80% of our subscribers have access to the simple phones, so yeah. they actually text. So, um, and the rest are actually urban farmers. These are people who are investing in farming back in the rural areas, so they have small phones. Yes, so they're, they're running a small hole in a long way from where they live. Exactly.